Hello, welcome to 1B1N channel. Today I'm going to be going over a couple of things we've picked up for our 4x8 layout um, today at the uh, Middle Tennessee chapter of the Train Collectors Association's uh, train show. First, we've picked up this Erie uh, Trains coal car and this is one that my son picked out and um, this is a pretty uh, neat little car um, a little gondola car with the coal in it. it the coal does pop out so you can change your loads and stuff but I'm not going to pop it out right now but uh, it does pop out to change your loads turn around and put that on our layout the next thing that we got today is we got a trolley and this trolley is a industry rail trolley and I pulled it out of the box earlier today and apparently I stuck it in upside down we need to get ourselves some bumpers for this trolley but um, it's actually a very nice looking uh, trolley and very excited for that as what you can't see off camera is that I've got a long hallway here to my left um, that I'll be able to build a shelf layout and have this thing running from one end of my house all the way to the other end of my house um, very soon so this will be up on a shelf and uh, we're pretty excited about this can't wait to get this thing run up and running and that uh, is a industry rail um, trolley. Um, another thing we got, and we found we got this at a, a very very low price, and I, I did open up the box and take a look inside. But this right here is a illuminated ex uh, ex uh, extension bridge with uh, rock piers, and we're real excited to get this because the the layout that is behind me is a four by eight layout, and I had a four by six in scale layout which I stripped all the track off of, and the uh, the tabletop for it is just sitting over here to my side and I need to put uh, legs back up under it and then I'm going to add on to the 4x8 layout with that 4x6 layout coming off kind of in an L shape but uh, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bridge for the trains to go from one uh, layout spot to the other so this is going to be very exciting to see I'll really support that bridge so the trains don't crash and everything up, uh, as they go from, from table to table but very excited to get this and can't wait to get it up and running on our layout seven dollars and fifty cents can you can you believe that wow what a great deal um, another thing got today is well as a young man I grew up eating Cracker Jacks and knowing the old baseball song about uh, take me out to the ballpark and buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Well, I got my Cracker Jack car. And uh, we got got this for a, uh, a good price. And it's a, it's a reefer car. And so it's got little doors that open. But one of the things about them is to get them to open, you kind of got to push on them a little bit. And this one's being stubborn with me right now. You kind of got to push on them. And they're not, it's not, it doesn't want to open. Let's see here. Why does it want to open? Well, trust me, they open. They're just being very stubborn right now. And, uh, but anyhow, got a Cracker Jack car and real excited. My, ma, uh, my wife said, um, what about the Baby Ruth candy bar car? But my son got that car at the uh, train show back in um, 
back in uh, December, so pretty excited about that too. So. Um, another thing we found were some Lionel hand-painted pewter figures. And what's uh, pretty exciting about these figures, let me see if I can't pop them out here. Of course, there's always tape on everything. And my knife is not handy when I need it, so, oh well. So let's pop some of these guys out. So this one here is a guy walking his dog. We have another one here. It's a guy. Looks like he's carrying a newspaper. Here's a couple holding hands and going for a walk. And this, these next two pieces are what sold me on this uh, set of people. And it is a little boy with a baseball glove. And here's a dad. So, so it looks like a a father and son um, playing catch. Of course, uh, doesn't want to he doesn't want to stand up very well with his leg up there. He's trying to fall over, so he's probably going to need a little bit of glue or something to get him to, uh, to stand up. So, because he is weighted funny. So anyhow, got some really neat people. Final thing we got today for our layout is a box of plastic parts. When I say plastic parts, I mean plastic parts. Um, we don't have a whole lot of structures on our layout, and I want to add structures that look good and stuff, but you know, with that trolley going down the wall, I'm probably going to do some flat structures and some other things. So what I ended up getting for two dollars was this bag of um, of plastic parts, this well box of plastic parts, and these were all in sealed bags. So they're likely to, to some some kits of some sort, but um, but you know there's walls and parts of buildings here, and I'm not sure what all these buildings once were. Here's some doors and windows to be painted up, and Different things could possibly be a church. Not really sure because of the way this thing right here look, looks at, and I'm not sure what this building was originally for. But here's like some shutters and the, and uh, whatnot. So I'm uh, really looking forward to just fixing that up um, creatively to be whatever I want it to be. It's not going to be anything specific. I'm just going to make it fit. Uh, my train layout. Now a couple of weeks ago we went to visit our friends in Atlanta and we took a trip over to Legacy Station and um, that was our first time to go to that uh, train store and we have seen Eric's trains on YouTube a bunch and give a shout out to him for for um, letting us know about it and I've seen it in the magazines and everything but we went there and um, we got uh, we got this uh, cops and robbers set of people, and I realize there's a glare probably from the um, plastic and everything. But this is a bunch of cops and robbers. Um, here's a bad guy in handcuffs, and here's a bad guy running, and and an officer directing traffic and whatnot. But we got uh, cops and robbers figures, and um, right now in our layout we just have a uh, train station, a restaurant, and an ice cream parlor, and an airport. So we look, we're looking to add a uh, bank to our uh, layout so that cops and robbers will look better robbing the bank than they would um, the ice cream shop or whatever. And then uh, we've got, I went to the Hobby Town in um, Atlanta and also picked up these uh, passengers. Um, so we got uh, a passenger set. So so we've been going around and just getting some odds and ends things for our layout because we basically have a temporary layout set up behind us, but um, we don't really 
we're not really ready to finalize it yet. And right now, I haven't lit up every building that's on the um, on the table, and I'll be doing that soon. I do have a couple of them temporarily wired up, but uh, once I get my uh, layout finalized with my second table, um, I'll go ahead and secure and wire everything up properly. In the meantime, I want to give a, a shout out to uh, Train Room uh, Gary. Um, Train Room Gary had put out a video on how to make a uh, homemade track cleaning car. So I followed his instructions as best I can, and I'm not, I'm not the most patient person in the world, so I kind of got in a hurry and may have messed up a little bit. But the train, this car works actually quite well. We had gone up to um, a, a train show up in Louisville, Kentucky, and um, happened to get this car for about two dollars and fifty cents, and it was just a nice flat car. And so underneath, just like he showed used a uh, magic eraser or uh, it may have even been a uh, local grocery store knockoff version of the magic eraser but uh, um, so I no, no infringement on any trademarks here or, or from my end uh, this is just um, a similar product so I don't know if this is actually the magic eraser or if it's like I say a generic but um, uh, put this on the train uh, train tracks out of the alcohol with using a straw like he had shown and uh, picked up quite a bit of dirt on the uh, on the sponge so um, probably going to be adding another um, taking the sponge off and adding another sponge very soon I have a another block of sponge right there that I can add on underneath the train car but uh, just like he did just cut it down to go on the train car, hot glue it on, and then uh, just measure it so that the wheels roll on the uh, um, the train track, and just you know do your best to cut it down nice and flat. Now you can probably tell I did not cut that down nice and flat, but uh, it still did a good job of uh, picking up the um, of picking up the dirt. It um, needs a uh, weight added to it, and so I put a I put some rocks up on top of it or something just a little heavy to weight it down, but um, it does quite well. Quite impressed. Thank you, Train Room Gary, for that idea. I'm pretty sure that there are probably other people out there in the YouTube world that have done that very, or have made that very same train uh, cleaning car or something very similar. And so, to all you folks, um, thank you for your videos as well. So... Um, as far as showing you the latest things we've got to add to our our layout and to our train collection, that's all I have for now. Um, as soon as I uh, wrap this up, I'm going to um, do a video of the, our layout and show you uh, that and run some trains. So for now, this is 1B1N signing off.